Happening later today, a woman facing charges for a crash that killed her one-year-old daughter is due back in court. News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from the Buckham County Courthouse. So, Lauren, why was this case previously continued? When Jadrian Ledbetter appeared in court back in March, the state asked for more time to process several tests. Now, troopers say Ledbetter was on drugs when she crashed into a YMCA activity bus on Barnardsville Highway on March 4th. Her one-year-old daughter, Reagan Emanuel, died during surgery at Mission Hospital after the crash. Ledbetter and two other adults in the car were injured. The bus driver also had minor injuries. Ledbetter is facing felony charges of death by vehicle and serious injury by vehicle. She is set to face the judge here at the Buncombe County Courthouse later today. We will hopefully learn exactly what was in her system at the time of this crash. Reporting live in downtown Asheville this morning, I'm Lauren Brigman, News 13. A mother facing charges in a crash that claimed the life of her one-year-old daughter is set to appear in court today. News 13's Lauren Brigman is live at the Buncombe County Courthouse. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Evan and Holly. Now, 20-year-old Jadrian Ledbetter is due back here in court this morning. Troopers say she was on drugs when she crashed into a YMCA activity bus. It happened on March 4th on Barnardsville Highway. Now, Jadrian Ledbetter's one-year-old daughter, Reagan Emanuel, died during surgery at Mission Hospital after the crash. Ledbetter and two other adults in the car were injured. The bus driver had minor injuries. She's facing felony charges of death by vehicle and serious injury by vehicle. Those could mean up to 22 years in prison for her. When she was in court back in March, the state asked for more time to process several tests. Now today in court, we will hopefully learn exactly what was in her system on the day of that crash. Reporting live in downtown Asheville, Lauren Brigman, News 13. Happening today, a woman facing charges in a crash that killed her one-year-old daughter is set to face a judge. News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from the Buncombe County Courthouse. Lauren, why was this case actually continued already? Holly, when 20-year-old Jadrian Ledbetter appeared in court back in March, the state asked for more time to process several tests. Now, troopers say Ledbetter was on drugs when she crashed into a YMCA activity bus on Barnardsville Highway March 4th. Her one-year-old daughter, Reagan Emanuel, died during surgery at Mission Hospital after the crash. Ledbetter and two other adults in the car were injured. The bus driver also had minor injuries. Ledbetter is facing felony charges of death by vehicle and serious injury by vehicle, charges that could mean up to 22 years in prison. The DA's office suspects she was on meth or antidepressants when this wreck happened. They also say at the time of the crash, Ledbetter was on release with prior charges from last July that include possession of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia. So today in court, we are expected to learn exactly what was in her system on the day of this wreck. Reporting live in downtown Asheville, Lauren Brigman, News 13. Happening today, a mother facing charges in a crash that claimed the life of her one-year-old daughter is set to appear in court. News 13's Lauren Brigman is live at the Buncombe County Courthouse. And Lauren, we know that Jadrian Ledbetter was charged with DUI. Do we know what was in her system at the time of the crash? We hope to find that out today in court, Evan. Now, troopers say 20-year-old Jadrian Ledbetter was on drugs when she crashed into a YMCA activity bus. This happened on Barnersville Highway on March 4th. Ledbetter's one-year-old daughter, Reagan Emanuel, died during surgery at Mission Hospital after the crash. Ledbetter and two other adults in the car were injured. The bus driver had minor injuries. Ledbetter is facing felony charges of death by vehicle and serious injury by vehicle. That could mean up to 22 years in prison for her. When she was in court back in March, the state asked for more time to process several tests. The DA's office suspects she was on meth or antidepressants when this wreck happened. They also say that at the time, Ledbetter was on release with prior charges that include possession of meth and possession of drug paraphernalia. So today in court, we are expected to learn, based on those test results, exactly what was in her system on the day of this crash. Reporting live in downtown Asheville, Lauren Brickman, News 13.